Today we will be speaking with Anthony Eldon, and he is a candidate for Senate District 21 here in Florida, and and he has an incredible background, uh, and he's a teacher, very educated young man, dynamic, what else can I say about him, up and coming uh, figure here in, in the state of Florida politics, and we want to welcome you, Anthony. You've got an incredible background as a teacher, and I know you've got a lot of ideas and you have a lot of people supporting you, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more and why you're running for Florida Senate District 21. Well, hello, yes, thank you. I really appreciate that intro. That was one heck of an intro. Um, <laughs> yes, my name is Anthony. Um, uh, Anthony Eldon, and I'm running for Florida Senate District 21. I'm running for various issues. One of the main things I care about, though, as you touched on, I'm a teacher. Um, and so education issues means a lot to me. I think it's ridiculous that Florida is either 46 or 47, one of the two, in student spending. We spend literally nothing, basically, on our students. About We spend less than half on our students what we do on our inmates. So, for example, our inmates, we spend about 20000 per year per inmate. On our students, 8500 per student. That is ridiculous. There's not, that's not even a, that should not happen. We're investing in keeping people in prison as opposed to raising our youth to, to one day, you know, rule Florida. That's sad. It really is. And, and we have, and if Florida is ever going to pull itself out and move forward in, in, in the country up the ladder in education, we've got to spend more on education. We, and we, we need more quality teachers like yourself. And we've got to start shipping the money over into these private charter schools that often, so often, although a few cases they are pretty good, but most cases, unfortunately, the money is, is misused and not used for the purposes it was intended for. And there's such a history of that. Oh, my Lord, history. Exactly, exactly. It's so and, sad, especially for a state like Florida, who has one of the largest economies on, a, in, on an international level. Exactly. And, and, Tony, tell us a little bit more about some of the things that you would like to implement if, if you get into the Florida State House up there. I know I've interviewed or we've talked with you before on other, uh, in other venues and forums. You had so many great ideas, and uh, I know people have been impressed with all your thoughts and everything on trying to, to bring some reform and, and working. Of course, we have to work across the aisle and because we are the minority. But, you know, Lord, people need to open their eyes and not let Florida slip any further backward than what they already are in, in the national rankings in education and so forth. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, a couple more things that I want to reach out for and work on. Well, one, I think it's important to mention that I'm a, I'm a young black man, okay? I'm only 23, and there's so much that we can do that we don't do because we don't listen to the people that are going to be affected by it mostly. And when I say this, I'm talking specifically about things like climate change, specifically about things like the environment. A lot exactly. of Florida is old people. And I'm not saying that to be mean or anything like that. I'm saying that to say they won't have to live with the effects of their actions now. Me as a young person, I will. And, and so, so the generations that really follow like, you. Exactly. exactly. My siblings, my, my kids one day, they're all going to have to live with our decisions. And, and, and believe it or not, I think most of the educated people, I can't understand these people who don't believe in science. Science is real. It tells us the truth. And, and, and in the few cases where it gets something a little bit off, it corrects itself. It, it's yes, not like it does. Other, uh, 
it's not like situations where people believe uh, believe in, in some kind of magical thinking or fantasy or the fantasy world. What in the world are they living in? You know, and, I have no clue. And, and 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 Anthony, I'm sure both of us know. Why did Florida, when the, when the Florida officials, you you can look at the news clips, were mocking New York when they had the COVID outbreak, basically saying, yep. oh, they're not managing themselves right. And then and, and they tried to tell us, and the scientists tried to tell us, the health officials tried to tell us, look at what you're doing in Florida and try to correct it. Instead of doing that, they listened to the higher official that sits in Washington, D.C., won't even mention the name, that give a misdirection, and Florida ended up being one of the worst cases in the nation. You know, and we didn't exactly. have to do that. People died for no reason, for no reason, yes. only because of stupidity. Yes. So, but Our death rate ne- is one of the highest in the country. It is ridiculous that Florida should have even been in this position. We had one point, and, I, and I, this was a couple weeks ago, I may be wrong on this um, now, but a couple weeks ago we were the peak. You know, if you wanted to go anywhere to get COVID, you should have come to Florida. We were the peak in contracting COVID. And what the other side is going to say is, well, technically, no, because California had 40,000 more cases than us here down in Florida. Yeah, but California also has 20 million more people double the size of Florida. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You're, you're, yes. And, 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 and you know, Florida, Florida had no reason to be in the mess that we, we got in. And that goes that lays directly with the people who are in power, sitting in, in Tallahassee up there. The people that are in the majority, you know, yep. and and they will not listen to, to science. A lot of cases, the same reason, you know, we had the red tide here again when they when they yep. terminated all, all the environmental people and our half or huge chunks of the staff who were monitoring this for what? What did we gain? We gained pollution. Nothing. We gained uh, we gained a wrecked economy. And there's no reason we should have been like that. It's only because of stupidity. And and we yeah. have one of those one of those same people that caused the red tide. I'll call his name out. His, we, everyone in Florida knows it's Red Tide Rick. He's sitting in Washington now. By <laughs> and it's, it, it's sad. It really is. It, it's sad. The state of Florida. Lord, Lord, Lord. Agreed. And, and one of the things that pissed me off. Um, I don't know if I can say it on the radio, but one of the things that made me <laughs> mad was my opponent on his website. He, he actually at one point changed, he at one point had that he wanted a border wall for Florida oh, on Lord. his website. I don't know who in the heck he is trying to stop from getting in. I assume dolphins, but <laughs> I don't know. I but now, stop the dolphins. <laughs> stop the dolphins. But now what he's calling for is a safe and secure Florida where people, where people can go back to work. And it just baffles my mind because his party is the reason we can't. Exactly. And we, we can't go back to work because they put us in this mess because they didn't listen to science back in January, February, and March when they should have been listening. And, and they refused to close the state down properly. They refused to have us. We still don't have a statewide mask uh, declaration in Florida. We don't have a nationwide. Never did. And, and why do you think, and science has proven all along, the reason Florida has improved is because more people realized that you have to wear a mask if you're going to stop the spread of COVID. And, and yes. it, it, it is pathetic. It really is. It's pathetic did, that we had to end, did end you up in this see, mess. Did you see the recent, um, there was some uh, people going to different targets as their protest, a group of people, and they would rip their masks off and run through the target telling everyone to rip their masks off. This is going on in oh, Florida. Oh, for God's sakes. Only yeah. in Florida. I, I wish there had been a police or a sheriff there to, 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 to kindly escort them out and, and, and let them, you know, I'm going to be sarcastic here and tell you what, a letter to the editor in one of the newspapers wrote a letter and said, why don't we let all these people who don't think, think COVID-19 is a hoax uh, leave their mask off, let them shop in special stores. They all can be together, and then they can see how long they can survive. And we'll go back to the old survival of the fittest, you know. And the fittest are the people <laughs> who wear the mask and, and have, have enough sense to believe in science, you know. And, but it, yeah. it, it's pathetic. It, it is. And, and uh, we can only hope that the younger generation coming up, the generation that you represent and that you're going to be leading here in the future, that we'll, uh, we can have more people that believe in science and believe science is real. And, and that we, we, have, we have to deal with reality. We cannot leave it yes. in a place where we have magical thinking that all of a sudden COVID is going to disappear 
No, it's not. Many of the scientists say now it could be around for many, many years, for decades. We may not be able to wipe it out because it's so it's spread so far in the world now. And Lord knows how, how, how it will evolve, you know. But uh, this, is, this is the exact thing that causes problems. And we need people like you in Tallahassee that's going to listen to the people that are going to try to improve our education here where we have our young students who, would, who will believe in science and will try to follow uh, rules and regulations that, that, that follow what, what competent people in power try to tell us and not have it political driven. Exactly. God knows we don't, we don't want to have, have a hurricane chart put up on the, a national for people to see here than having someone <laughs> taking a magic marker and making it go somewhere else. But they cause a magic yes. thinking they can redirect hurricanes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my Lord. That would be horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if, if, if it wasn't so pathetic, it, it, it would be laughable, uh, uh, Anthony. It, it, you're, it, yes. and I, don't, I don't know what we have to do to reach out to people to get them more educated, but we certainly have a lot to do yet. We've got a lot to work on. Um, I know uh, in your, if you get elected here, and we certainly hope we're going to do everything we can to get you elected, that we can start working on some of the many problems. Could you tick off some of the – you've already hit on a couple of them, like education. What would be some yeah. of your top priorities that you would like to see uh, improved and worked on here in the state of Florida, that where we, ha we have room to work and where we can deal with people who believe in science, hopefully, and we can have reality come back in, into legislation and not have it about someone, you know, because a certain chemical factory or whatever it is needs to line their pocket a little deeper or whatever, and or whatever you know and we can do things yeah. here that'll actually help florida and not and for the long run and not the short not short run profits long term no, growth agreed. in florida and long term prosperity not short term profits and short term stupidity <laughs> i'm sorry that's what agreed. i agreed say <laughs> <laughs> one of the things okay. that we definitely can do and this is kind of already being talked about even on the right is background okay. checks Yes. Background checks when it comes to buying guns. Let me reiterate once more. I'm a young black male teacher. So gun violence and gun uh, sensibilities, is, I'm all for it. Okay? I, I don't understand why we don't already have universal background checks. It makes sense to me that you wouldn't want to put hands and, guns in the hands of people who would abuse them. Um, I don't know. And, and actually, it makes sense on the right, too, because an overwhelming majority – think this is the good way to the good thing to do even bill galvano um the outgoing senate president who who i will be taking up his seat um even he had these same considerations and so it's already something being talked about it's already something that can be done just no one's going to push for it and so once i'm in that's one thing i'll be pushing for um because once again young black male teacher that means a lot to me Exactly. And, you know, what are some of the other areas, too, that we could touch on here and talk about? There's so many areas where we could, we could you know, the Honestly. old grading score it, uh, needs improvement. Florida has a lot yeah. of areas. We, we just went through a horrible situation here where we have, some, in some cases, development in, into some very questionable areas, some of our nature preserves. You know, we have... Uh, we have the Florida Fund that's supposed to purchase land for the Florida uh, Fund. Yep. Yes. I wonder is if we could just get some. I know there's a lot of people, and these are in some conservative areas too, that want us to continue to do this because if they don't do it, their rural lifestyle is going to be up for grabs and by development. And you oh, would yeah. think that they. They, they would have enough sense to realize if we don't purchase this land and keep keep more nature involved in Florida that we're going to lose a lot of this and a lot of what attracts people to Florida and and keep part of the nat that will lose our natural beauty here. Are the things that you could do in that area? Have you explored anything yet that you might be able to discuss with our listeners? You know what you could do. Yeah. So the the, the what you're talking about that that's fun that's dedicated. And let me say dedicated because. There's a difference between dedicated and being actually used for what it's supposed to be used for. The fund right. that is dedicated towards purchasing land for Florida to maintain 
as environment.